There's a saying that goes, what you win them with is what you win them to. Let's talk about it here on All Things Theology. All Things Theology, All Things Theology, we chop it up properly, without an apology. Gotta get that theology to God, hollow because this is how we do it at All Things Theology. Yo, grace and peace, and welcome back to an episode of All Things Theology. This is your host, K-Dub, and today we're going to talk about a popular trend that I'm seeing. Yes, there's a trend that is going on in churches, which I am fundamentally labeling pragmatism. It is a pragmatic message on how to get people into church and keep people in church. And as that is a primarily means of entertainment, where preachers, pastors, churches are not preaching what the Bible says, but rather we are, you know, not exegesis of scripture, but an exegesis of movies and films. Now, let me first off say that I am not against a pastor using a movie as an analogy in their sermon. There can be an analogy to help someone see what the Bible is saying. So that's not what I'm saying. But the pastor is to exegete the Bible, bring clarity upon the Bible, and that's the sermon is to be about, not the movie. If you leave more impressed with a movie rather than God's word, who Jesus is, the gospel, or whatever the text may be, I think the pastor has missed it. You know, one of the charges that Paul lays out to Timothy is to preach the word, not preach the movie, not preach the popular Colosseum right of the day to bring it more in the vernacular of uh, Paul's day, but rather the pastor's job, the role of the pastor is to bring clarity about the word. That is, that means we are to, you know, explain exegy that really that's the word exegy God's word, right? Again, there is a popular movie really that, that goes back you know, decades ago in the seeker sensitive movement, the seeker sensitive movement started years ago. And the primary question, which is not a bad question, is how do we get people to church? How do we keep people to church? Now, right questions, wrong answer, right? Right question. How do we get people to church? Wrong answer. We preach less of God's word, right? We entertain them. And so what I want to do right now is play some clips to just show you some examples of this played out. Never mind, they'll find someone like you. Listen carefully. You will be king, and I will give you my throne, and you will rule over the kingdom of Judah. And so, right there, this is supposed to, so right now they're intermingling these two things, right? Bible and Lion King. So this is supposed to be Mufasa, apparently, <laughs> um, which it never works out. You, 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 you want to know how this doesn't work out? In the film Lion King, the father died, <laughs> right? And he didn't die on behalf of the people, right? That's not, that was, he died, you know, uh, protecting his own. Son. So it doesn't even work out biblically. You know, you kind of get some kind of heretical, uh, view of the father dying for our sins but but anyway watch this part because this 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 was very interesting too of your kingdom there will be no end cool i have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> so the son is some kind of one that's not even a son that's a daughter i mean so that's that be how that even works anyway is beyond confusing right but nevertheless the son is all like, I have no clue what you're talking about, the father, right? It's like the, the son is presented in this film, this portrayal of um, a biblical story interwoven with the Lion King as some kind of bimbo, right? He has no clue what's going on, right? That's not the picture that's painted in the, in the, uh, the biblical narrative. Jesus is very self-aware of who he is, right? Um. But again, once you get off the Bible bus, right, once you get off, thus saith the Lord, once you get off tr pastor's charge as preach the word, this is what you get. This is what you get. And people are laughing. <laughs> this is so great. I love this. I love how they interwove this heresy into the biblical narrative. It's great, right? No, it's not. Life's not fair, is it? You see, I, I shall never be king. 
And so th- I, I guess this is supposed to be Scar, right? I, I, maybe uh, the devil, you know? So let's, let's check this out. Let's see what the devil has to say. And you shall never see the light of another day. <laughs> So the devil, uh, so the devil is uh, entertainment driven as well, which, you know, that makes sense. But what is this ACDC? I, I don't know. You know, I don't know some of these rock bands, but th- the devil is singing ACDC in, in the church, which, which that, that actually makes sense. <laughs> but it's the church putting this on, which is the whole irony. We got everything you want, honey. We know the names we got. Found is a Roman act of certain appeal. He can clear the Savannah after every meal. I'm a sensitive soul, though I seem fixed. And it hurt that my friends never stood down with. And now the shame. So we got, what, Timon and Pumbaa. Who are these supposed to be? Peter and John? I, I, I don't know. You know, it's like so many questions you have to ask about this interwoven narrative into the Bible, right? Um, I, no one, no one, <laughs> again, you, you got so many questions. Well, I mean, why not just preach the Bible? You know, that's a question I always ask these pastors. Why not preach the more sure word? If the Bible is sufficient, you know, if the Bible is uh, how we know God, why not just preach the Bible? You don't get all these silly questions that I have to ask. Like, who who is Pumbaa, you know, uh, you know, what is it, Pumbaa and Timon? Who, who are these characters supposed to be? You could just say, what the Bible says. I mean, I mean, maybe maybe I'm old-fashioned, but maybe I'm thinking biblically as well. It was a shame. I got a change in my name. Oh, what's in a name? And I got down hard in the field. Every time that I... Hey, Pumbaa, not in front of the kids. Oh, sorry. If you are who you say you are, throw yourself down from here, for it is written that he will give his animals charge over you to keep you and in their hands. Lion King should low key sue this church for uh, distorting their film. <laughs> right? I mean, this isn't even consistent with the Lion King, uh, let alone the Bible. They shall bear you up. Lest you dash your foot against a stone. I don't think so, Scar. It is said you shall not tempt the one true Lion King of Judah. Yeah, you really are. Sure. Father, son, aren't you? Let's play a little game, shall we? I like to call it Skin the Cat. Let's hang this kitty by its paws and see who <laughs> fast. This is so cheesy and corny. My goodness, what church did this? That's, that's what we need to find out. Send me this church. <laughs> comes to say it. What song is this? I wish nothing but the best. Oh my goodness. For you. <laughs> we have Adele. The the uh, the uh crucifixion of uh the kitty. But, you know, being narrated by a remix of Adele, huh? I mean, okay. How bad I remember you said Sometimes it lasts in love But sometimes it hurts instead <laughs> Simba's alive And I'll show you You follow around Oh, what in the black what in the, what in the black face is going on right now Who, Who's who's the wise what, what was this guy's name again? Rafiki Yeah, that was Rafiki uh, Who's Rafiki supposed to be in this biblical narrative? <laughs> I have no clue Come on <laughs> And who is this? What? I don't believe it. I thought you were dead. I was dead, but I have risen and I will live forevermore. Yeah, because that's totally what happened. You know, they came, <laughs> bringing Jesus, carry him all like on an earthly kingdom, I guess. I mean, yeah. Uh, somebody give me an Advil, please. Please. I mean,. You know, sometimes it just makes you ask this. Why ain't no way, boy? 
Boy, ain't no way, boy. You know? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? No, 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 no. What, 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 can we just preach the Bible? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. What in the white privilege am I watching? <laughs> what is going on? I mean, my goodness. Preach the word, pastors. That is the charge. That is the aim and the goal. Again, when pastors, you know, it really makes you ask this question. Do these pastors even believe the Bible is sufficient to bring about conversion, to bring about what the Bible says, right? Faith comes by hearing, hearing, hearing the word of God, not the Lion King remixed with the interwoven narrative of the word of God, right? We preach the word, preach the word. That is the charge. Hey, hold on. I, I got a sound effect for that. I, that's why I tell them. This. Preach the word. Come on. Preach the word. We need more expositors, people who are unashamed about the word of God, right? Not less. What we don't need in today's age is less word of God. We, one can make an argument. We need more of the word of God since we have pastors doing certain things like this, but we're not done. Yo, grace and peace. Thank you for watching another episode of All Things Theology. If you enjoyed what you heard today, go on and give me a like. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. I promise to give you weekly videos, lives, interactions, exposing false teachers, sharing with you, the viewer, my theological beliefs, things about the culture and the Bible. So if you're here for that, come on and join us.